That's right. Brought to you by the House of Music <laughs> Company and by Mr. Matt Van Boris of uh, Flipping Burgers of Town Club. <laughs> uh, another Thursday night, another uh, weekend in the River Bend of full entertainment, and uh, it's already underway. First things first, down the flock. Got started at 5 o'clock, going till 8. And uh, Sea Shanties. And they're sing along underway already at Morrison's Irish Pub. Trivia night coming up at the Conservatory at about 6.30. Also underway, Graham Pagano, George Local Brew in Jerseyville, Boom Slang at Wiggler's and Holiday Shores underway until 9. Scruffy looking nerve herder already <laughs> underway. And until 9 o'clock at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville, Drew Lance and his guest already underway at the cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. Acoustics in the park. With the Strangers duo, down the pontoon beach, starts at 6.30, goes to 9.30. Mo Pleasure, already underway down at Patrick's in Granite City. And Sundays at your place, already underway down at the Old Harrow Brewery. La Lazy Lester started at 5.30, up the Prairie Inn in Dorsey, and uh, they'll go to uh, 8.30. And, of course, the Experience Live Music Row, already underway down there in Belleville. We missed a few of those. Yeah. Uh, we got, string, we got strings and keys, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Deutz Village Inn and Pontoon Beach Cricket and the Grill Avocados doing the Grafton Music in the Park 7 to 9. Uh, I don't know if we missed anything else around. Well, I'm sure we did. Like the open mic for Agent Cage, we're getting underway at 9 o'clock later tonight. And the Heaton Brothers underway at 9 o'clock in the back bar <coughs> in Edwardsville. We also, uh, let's see. Kirk getting the grilled avocado? You yep. mentioned that? Yep. Okay, well, we go. got that one. <laughs> that's, that's quite a bit going on in our uh, little river community for a uh, Thursday a evening. Thursday. That's a Thursday evening, man. That's a pretty good Thursday. We'll be getting into uh, the rest of the weekend as we go along, but it's time to talk professional wrestling once again. It's been a while. About nine months ago, we uh, had a uh, pro wrestling epic on, and uh, some new faces uh, joining us uh, here tonight for this version uh, of River Bend talent, and uh, you want to introduce our guest, Mr. Pig Pan? Uh, I will start with the gentleman to my directly to my right, Eagle Eye. Is that me? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Oh, we we got to get a mic on you so I can. There we go. Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye. Okay, so Mr. Eagle Eye, real, real quick, you got you to gotta just fill me in about yourself. <laughs> I've never seen you wrestle, I've never met you before. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been uh, around in the wrestling business for about two and a half months now, so. Pretty fresh ah, on the scene. Yeah, you're looking pretty green. <laughs> I was thinking that when you walked in, I thought out of these three guys, if there's one I could take, it's greeny. No. <laughs> He's the king of the sky. Hey, I, well, that's that's. I like to get high, so yeah. I'd, I'd love to be up in the sky with not Mr. Eagle Eye. <laughs> oh, not that high, look, man. Look, you, you can't fly until you land. Other than that, you just fall, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, so, so Mr. Eagle Eye, two, two and a half months, he's doing things, so win anything yet? I won a few matches here and there. Uh, I've been coming to Pro Wrestling Up for the last two and a half months. Uh, I've been taking down the solution here and there. Mm -hmm. I've been tagging up with uh, the former WWE uh, tag champ, Eugene. And even Juan Sanchez. So I'm making the rounds. I'm making the rounds here. All oh, right, on. All right. Well, you know, get, getting your feet wet, getting into it. Yes, sir. You ever do any wrestling before this? Uh, I had a background in amateur folk style wrestling. Uh, oh, down in Missouri. Up. Folk style? Yes, sir. So, what you, like banjos and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> why, why you, There's a misconception. Okay, <laughs> well, let's clear it up. I know Bob Dylan was over there, like, crooning while you did it or what? Uh, yeah, it's just some high school wrestling okay. uh, around the state of Missouri. I uh, wrestled around uh, Deloge and whatnot. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very familiar with Deloge, man. Right. You know Cedar Lake? Yes, sir. Yeah, I just I spent a lot of time out of Cedar <laughs> Lake, man. It's good times. Yes, sir. So I had a background in that, and I also have a background in uh, Muay Thai and American kickboxing. Nice. Uh, right. Did some ICAF tournaments down in... Uh, uh, Columbia and whatnot. So I had some Muay Thai for lunch, and it's <laughs> killing me right now. Puns here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Look, I pre-gamed, and I'm just, I'm just like <laughs> easing into this whole thing, man. <laughs> right on. All right. Well, Mr. Eagle Eye, we will find out a little more about you, but I am going to skip all the way down to the far end. Uh oh. We got the Silverback, Jabari <sighs> King. Is that? Is, yes, did I get it right? Because I, I, I don't, you know. Unlike Eagle Eye, I get the feeling you uh, got a little more experience, and I, I might have to look twice. I'm going to wash my back. No. <laughs> it's pretty wise. It's pretty wise, right. Uh, so how about you, uh, uh, Mr. King? How, how long have you been 
involved in the wrestling? Uh, wrestling, about a year now. Got a background in uh, amateur wrestling. <clears throat> Slight background in Muay Thai as well. Mm. Um, mostly military, public safety, uh, a lot of public service jobs. Gotcha. Yes, All right. right. Yes, sir. All, All right. right. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. I, I enjoy every bit of the freedom that I have. I bet nobody started anything when you were in. That's what I tell everybody about when I was in. I'll just say nothing happened. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell everybody, too. Not me. I've got shrapnel in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm World War II. It's hard to tell, but I'm really okay. that old. I've got friends that have seen some things and yeah. seen how it's affected them. It's it is serious. And, 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 you, no joke. and you have to be happy that you didn't have to see it. Exactly. Because yeah, you can't unsee things that you've seen. Uh, as much as I've wanted to unsee many things, you can't. You know, it's it's there. So I've had associates like they see they hear a helicopter. They just freeze. Yeah, man. Yeah. And just no, just yeah. Huh? It's, it's not. It's not. I've got associates when they hear sirens, they run. I mean, I don't know if it's the same kind of situation. <laughs> it's a fire. It's an ambulance. No, anyway. Okay, so there, uh, I, and, and you, you not only uh, wrestle, but you also do management. Well, That's correct. I, my associate here, which you'll get to in a minute. We're, we're working our way yes, yes, yes. to the I creamy just, center. <laughs> I'll just say I associate myself with the best. I'll say that. All right. All right. It's, I, I like the, uh, he, he likes to leave. A little mystery in what he says. Well, my, my associate can speak for himself. <laughs> and his associate, sitting right in the uh, in the center here, is Mr. All That Matters. And say it one time. Say it one time. When you say it slow and salty, yeah. Mr. All That Matters. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he has a, a belt over his shoulder as I he sure is do. the champ. So if you're watching the video, you're like, that's a nice belt. Yes. And if you're not watching the video... <laughs> And watch the video. Uh, <laughs> this is all I can say. Uh, and, and exactly what championship belt are you holding now? I am the current PWE Interstate Champion. Interstate Champion. And who did you have to take down to take that belt off of him? The former champion, Benjamin Trust and okay. Kendall Beck. Triple threat match. I beat them both. Wow. wow. We talked Look about one of those. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. So we have, when last time we had Benjamin Trust on, I believe he was talking about that type of match. Maybe that was it. I should have been there. I think so. Uh, With uh, Tyler Copeland and one other. Two oh. Altonians here. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Looky there. So, uh, Mr. All That Matters, Mr. Champ. Let's, I pose the same question to you right off the bat, just so we kind of got some background. How long have you been doing this, and how'd you get into it? So, I have been doing this for about three years now. I got into wrestling because my uncle was a huge fan. He turned me into a fan, and after I graduated high school, I decided this is what I was going to do. Nice. All right. Nice. And uh, no background, I'm just naturally gifted. <laughs> Obviously. He, he, you 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 must hang out with Ace just because like Ace has that attitude like I am the best ever. Well, although he, he although he all that matters, I'm a money maker. You, you I gotta be this way. Well, yeah, yeah, Ace likes the money too. Yeah, and he, see, Ace does like the money. Although here's the here's the difference. Yeah. Ace has got a boa around him right. that has probably been inside someone. I don't know where it's been, but but I'm gonna say this. I believe your attitude just a little more. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm just saying. You want to show uh, now. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I know I know how to read a room. <laughs> I, I know how to size it all up. <laughs> uh, Mr. All That Matters. So you took uh, Benjamin Trust and who else now? Kendall Beck. Kendall Beck. There you go. And and so the, the, the explain to to our audience what a triple threat match exactly. How, how what you exactly they had to do to get this belt. A triple threat match is a match that involves three people. Myself, Benjamin Trust, and Kendall Bay. And it's every man for himself, supposedly. Every man for themselves, yes. All right. Just just check. Just I just wanted to clarify. And so you you are in a in a match with or in a ring with two other people and they could both come at you at once. Yeah. And, and nobody's on your side for sure. Oh no. So hey, so I'm target. Everyone wants to target me. I even got an even bigger target on my back now that I'm chip. <laughs> That you got an official target now that oh, you're yeah. shooting for. Uh, well, you know. He's a mountain everybody wants to climb up. <clears throat> but the thing is, they can't climb this mountain. Right. 
<laughs> what if they got a Sherpa guy? No, no, no help? A donkey or something. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not walking it, man. Uh, so there you go, Mr. All That Matters. Uh, when did you take the championship belt? March 4th. So, so you've been you hold, held on to it for a minute. One hundred and sixty-six days and counting. So that was a glorious <laughs> purpose too. Yes, it Franklin was. Franklin Lodge. It was the oh. Sonic Lodge. And it was a glorious purpose for me because I won the belt. <laughs> you did. Yeah. You, you held on to it because you guys have had several matches since then, so you've defended it a few oh, times. Oh yeah, I have. Right. And no one has taken this belt from me yet, and no one will. I don't know, man. What if Hulk Hogan show? He's 80. Forget it. <laughs> forget it. <laughs> uh, what if Andre the Giant? I oh, forget it. He's not around. Oh, man. So, so what? What do you? What does a guy do? Like we were discussing that when when I walked in and, and uh, my 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 friend Dennis said, "There's the guy." And I'm like, uh oh, what did I do now? And you're like, you know, we were kind of joking about uh, the when when me and the judge sort of got into it or whatever. But you you uh, uh, Jer- Jeremiah, I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. King. Yeah, I am. I am. Mr. King will do. Mr. King. Mr. King. Mr. King, Mr. King over there said, made the comment. He said, Hey, I don't know what this little guy can do, right? So so have you ever had a match where you are the little guy? Where, where you're, 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 I'm not talking, I was, I was kind of clarifying with him about, about oh, his name. Oh, there, gotcha. but have you had a match where you're like, where you are against like an Andre the Giant? Some dude that you're just like, how do I get him down? Yes. Yes, I have. Who's the, who's like the, the, the biggest uh, in stature that you've faced that you can think of? The big man, Baracus. Okay. He's the current PWE powerhouse champion. Mm. When I was first getting into the business, he was one of my first few opponents. I remember stepping in the ring like, I don't know if I can take this guy down. <laughs> well, and so what's the strategy when a guy's that big? Because because if you've got a big enough guy, if they just grab a hold of you, what are you going to do? You know, The easiest way to take out a big man is to tire him out, aim for the legs, chop him down. Like there a you tree. go. Back of the knee, man. There they'll, you go. They'll start. <laughs> I, I like it. Tire him down. Make him move. Okay. I'm, I'm asking because I'm a little guy, so, you know, if I... You know, upset eagle eye here. Too bad. I want to know what to do on the way out the door. That's <laughs> all. Just trying to get my strategy together here. Uh, Don't try to make a copy of him on the way out. Like you did the judge. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I forgot yeah, about that. Into the copy machine. No, that copy machine was already broken. We got here that day. <laughs> Me and the judge brushed against it lightly. Just doing a little copy. And I'm like, yeah. I, I, yeah, so there you go, man. Uh, so uh, the next match coming up in uh, Centralia on the 26th of August. Had a golf course, right? Right <laughs> on the range. Yes. So that's, that's interesting. I'll, I don't think I've ever heard those two combined. That is an interesting idea. Right. So like in the fairway? Like I, where, where are they, like, they going to set it up? In the parking lot or like right in the middle of the golf course? I mean, they will set it up anywhere. Right. The fans going to be there. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'm just picturing like there's wrestling going on and some dude's trying to tee off. <laughs> you know? uh, might, no, I think might be distracting. When the wrestlers get there, oh, it would be so cool. Everything if it didn't. stops. Everything. <laughs> everything. Everything right. stops. Attention is on the ring now. Somebody there you go. Uh, I heard a little whispering about golf clubs there. From mm-hmm. the funny guy. Yeah. A little cavorting going on so over there. About playing around on somebody, I think. Warriors make weapons out of everything. Agreed. I concur. Uh, yeah, so but they, the next one in town would be October seventh. Bittersweet lockdown too at the Franklin Lodge. Ooh, let's <laughs> talk about it. Uh-oh. That's a bittersweet lockdown. I want y'all to know this. The first bittersweet lockdown, I won what is called a lockdown <coughs> match. There are six six people in the ring, right? Four on the outside, hooked, handcuffed to the post. And every minute or so, one gets released. Oh, so yeah. me, against five other people, I beat them all. In the rules of this match, whoever wins gets to choose whatever championship they want. And I chose Benjamin Trust. I chose him. Uh-huh. And we see what happened now. I'm sitting here champion, because that's what I do. And now we got 
bittersweet lockdown two, where my man, Jabari King, he is entering a lockdown match this year. Uh-oh. Talk to him, tell him about it. You heard the man. Six people. <laughs> you heard the man. It's exactly. just exactly. that voice coming yeah. over yeah. my head. Yeah. Yeah. Let me talk. Let me uh, talk. Come on, man. Six people. What's up? <laughs> Two people in the ring. Every few, every few minutes, what's it, five minutes? Something like something that. Like that. Something like that. Yeah. Somebody's uncuffed. They get, they get to the ring. Okay. Every man for himself. Pinfall, submission. That's what that's what we got to do. Mm-hmm. All right. And do you remember the strategy you proposed last time we talked about this match, Pigpen? I do not. He said the first two guys in the ring ought to just team up and take out the other four before that while, first three minutes. While they're, while they're still locked seen, up, just we've knock seen, them out. We, we've, seen that, we've seen things like that. Uh-huh. See, the, 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 whole, the only thing is, no one seems to like us. Uh-oh. No one seems to like us. The I like you. Like so, you in the PW. I, I'm still questioning. Ever since that crackhead joke, you guys got to <laughs> Oh, that, that, that was a great joke. <laughs> anyway, if I can continue, yeah, can. my associate here has uh. gold because of the lockdown match. So naturally, history will repeat itself for people that are just that good. You understand, right? <laughs> so, when was that lockdown match? Was that back in uh, about nine months ago or so? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> You see, I want to know if that's the one we were talking about. And when it comes to dates, when it comes to dates, you know, I'm not really right. remembering it like that because I don't have to. I don't have to remember every single show because I competed on these shows and I won on these shows. Right. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Do you remember where that was? Si- it was, was it in Alton? It was. It was it six. Was, it yeah. was, but it was six it months was. ago in March. Okay. Correct. You won it in March. Well, you won March right. 4th. I won the belt. Oh, the belt. Oh, the March belt. 4th. Yeah. I had to compete. You, cho- you chose to go after yes. after you won. Yeah. Yeah. I had to compete in the lockdown match first before I got my championship opportunity. Right. And another fun fact, I was the first competitor in it. I was the one to start the match oh. and the one to end the match. Okay. Because I'm that good. Like I said, naturally gifted. It's a fact, but how is it fun? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to hang in here and have something to say, man. Um, he, appears, he appears very disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, you appear yeah. very disrespectful. I, I've been told that off. since I was a kid. Yeah, I, you know, uh, yeah. So, you know. Uh, it, I believe you have, have assessed me properly. My mother has said the same thing Pretty sure the for a long said time. The same thing. I think Damian Butcher Blade. said it. I, you know what? Issues. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I Every didn't even start that with the judge. He started it with me. I, and I, I, I'm i just trying to have a good time and laugh. And, and, you know, look, here's the thing. Everybody knows if you're the class clown and you want to be the comedian, you're going to say stuff, and sometimes you're going to get popped in the chops for the things you say. But that's the life you of a comedian. You might have a machine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Watch yourself, big I I don't know what to say. I, 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 I'm trepidatious at this moment. Mr. King seems to be upset with me. Well, then, I'm just let, trying let's to have a good time. Talk about I'm not it. upset yet. I'm just trying to have a good time. Yes, sir. Just trying to enjoy myself. So is the title on the line in Centralia before you get back to Oh, no. Nah. No? I get the day off. Okay. I so. don't got to defend my belt just because he's running the show. I defend the belt on my time. Uh, nice. And speaking so. of my time, you know, Bittersweet Lockdown has a special place in my heart because I won the lockdown match and got to choose my championship. So we have a number one contender, Kendall Beck, right? Remember him? The I said his name earlier. Yeah. The same person I beat. To become this championship. So you know what? Bittersweet lockdown too. He's the number one contender. I think I should go on ahead, get this over with, and beat him there too. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Yes, I, I know it does. All right. So 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 now, you now I need to know, are you guys from Alton? I am not. Okay. Just wondering if we got some homeboys that are gonna take care of this. All right. So so I've got a question for you. You mentioned you said I've got this belt now. Yeah. And I defended on my time. So so my question is, if if somebody wants that belt, they have to challenge you, right? Yeah. Say, I want to take that belt, but you have the right to just go, no, nah, I'll do it whenever I want to do it. Exactly. Really? Because I'm the champion. Okay. I shouldn't have to wrestle 
just because someone wants me to wrestle. No, all this is on my time now. Hmm. So, so you could potentially just keep that belt and just keep refusing to wrestle for a long see, time. See, I could do that. Yeah, but but the thing about me, I am the moneymaker. I am Mr. All That Matters, and I don't want anyone to forget that. So whenever I step into a ring, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see that side of me, the side of me that became a champion. So, yes, just because I do it on my time doesn't mean I'm not going to defend my title. This title has a legacy. I'm going to make sure that everyone remembers this title for me. No one else but me. Back on the mic there. Oh, yeah, Otherwise, sorry. people can't hear you. It's all right. Yeah. We're, you, you were, we were getting intense there, and I'm oh, like, yeah. I hear him less and less in my headphones, but I'm seeing him more and more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, when it comes about this belt, I don't play. I'm the champion for a reason. Right. Well, and, and I can understand that. Like, this is what you do. So, you, of course, you want to do it. This is what you've been training for. Oh, yeah. But I just, when you said that, I do it all my time, that thought hit me where I'm like, wait, you could refuse to wrestle when someone, and I guess that, I guess you have to have that right. Otherwise, people be challenging you every well, day. Were you under the misapprehension that he's not a fighting champion? No. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. No, I, I, I wasn't suggesting. Right. Not, everyone that, not everyone that challenges him is worth his time. <laughs> that does sound like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, I wasn't actually even questioning you specifically. What oh. I was thinking in my mind is, can somebody get a belt and just go, I'm just going to keep this gotcha. belt. Just want, yeah, hey, it, it, was, it, it wasn't even really about you specifically as much as it was about the rules of the game, the rules <laughs> of engagement, as we will say. Yeah, I so, you. yeah, no, I, I, I understand that if you're a wrestler, you want to wrestle. So, uh, you know, but but I also can understand how any Joe Schmo that challenges you, you're like, I ain't going to do that, man. Give me someone a real challenge, you know. Exactly. So, awesome. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, and again, interstate Not, champion. Yes, sir. Uh, interstate champion, Mr. All That Matters. That's who uh, we're talking to of the of Epic Wrestling. Also here in the studio, the Silverback, Jabari King and Eagle Eye. And, uh, what do you got going down for these uh, next couple mats there, Mr. Uh, Eagle Eye? I'm waiting on a call. I'm here for it. Okay. Whatever happens, happens. But uh, bittersweet lockdown, too. I know that they're uh, looking for someone to fill in a spot. And I uh, wouldn't have a problem filling that spot. I wouldn't have a problem going up against the Jabari King. You know, there's only one rightful king, and that's me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then if I, you know, go on to win that match, I might as well take out ATM. Fighting champion, but uh, he stays on the sidelines because he collects the checks from it, you know. So that's the only reason why he won't fight every month. But let me happened. get my hands on him, and that belt will be on me. I believe, wow. last, I believe last time I saw you, I was eliminating you from the battle. Yeah. And last time I saw you, for, yeah, we were, yeah, we were in there. And it for took, the interstate championship, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and it took three guys to eliminate you, and it nearly took one guy to eliminate you, and that was me. But you didn't. It took I me, fell short. It took me to eliminate you. <laughs> just one strike. Yeah, it took three or four guys to eliminate me. Yes. I rocked your world and I can do it again. You get it started right here. Don't play with me. Thank you. That's one. You get, you get one. It's fine. Somebody watch the copy machine. Trust me, it's fine. Somebody move the copy machine. It's fine. It's fine. Already, He's going at it. Pig pen is already out that ice. Already. <laughs> see, see, look, look. You know, you say that I sit on the sidelines and collect like a check. Hell no, we gotta, we gotta do business, you know what I'm saying? You say that I'm here to collect a check, but like you said, you haven't even gotten the call. I wonder why. Why is that? You haven't gotten the call. You wanna know why they called me? Because once again, I said, I am naturally gifted. They saw my talent. That is why I came back to PWE. And when I came back, I did exactly what I said I was gonna do and those become a champion. Now look who's sitting in this room, a champion, me, not you. And you think that if you won the lockdown match, you would have a real shot against me? No, stop playing yourself. This ain't that. And if you wanna get dealt with, Jabari's right here, so please, <laughs> get back in your place. Which is in the sky, I heard. Which is really high, I heard. <laughs> in the by and by, I heard. Oh, so there you go. Some 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 tense moments here in the studio. Yeah, now, yeah. now this isn't as tense as it gets. We've had wrestling before. It it, it, it gets out of control sometimes. Now we're talking about October seventh for a bittersweet lockdown two at the Franklin Lodge right here in Alton. But uh, you guys got a match up in Centralia on a golf course right on the range. Now, are you gonna fly up there, Eagle Eye, and? Uh, 
participate in that one or go we'll make an appearance? Call? You're gonna make an appearance. We'll be there. Whether in the ring or not, I'll be there. I see. All right. Well, so, 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 so let me pose this question to Mr. Eagle. Right. <coughs> when is your next match? Do you know when you're, do you got anything lined up that, that we can uh, look forward to seeing you in? Uh, nothing for PWE currently, but I'll be wrestling this Saturday over in Edwardsville, Illinois. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, and, and who's that with? That's for Cotta Chills Wrestling Alliance. Oh, oh well, you know what? We, we've, uh, we have, it. we have great respect for the, those cats because they're, they started in the backyard, you know. I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere. But but uh, when when you when being, guys like us have started from right. the bottom, being from you, this yeah. area, we watched them grow from a little garage, yeah, right, into having their own venue at one point and a, yeah. a weekly show. It was it was impressive right. to to see somebody put that all together. And what's really cool about it is a lot of those guys were shunned by all the other wrestling organizations because they were too small and that's what started the whole thing so we know all about that we we don't have good bands we just have bands right right <laughs> and, we, and that's you, a fight yeah it, know, it, so. yeah it, i was gonna say and, and being a, the kind of guys who who came up from nothing it, right. it, it's great when you see somebody pull out and they really kind of came up from nothing which i imagine all wrestling uh, alliances have to start from somewhere, but it seems like some of them start with a chunk of cash. So, in their did hand. you get in on some of that Cottage Hills action before they lost their venue? Uh, no, no, I had not gotten yeah, in. That was impressive. They were that selling was. out every week. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, again, uh, pretty pretty cool to see that. So they uh, then those you know local boys right up the road there. So the Legion in Edwardsville isn't that where that one is? That is correct. Okay, yeah, and that's <coughs> this Saturday night. This Saturday, our doors open at six, starts at seven. And who's your worthy opponent or unworthy? Still waiting. Oh, okay. it's a mystery, all to me. He's taking on the mystery man. That 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 could be interesting. The mystery man could could be uh you know the unknown comic coming out with a bag on his head. We don't know what it's going to be. And so you guys have uh, been kind of chills wrestling alliance have been bouncing around to different venues. I've seen you guys that are in Edwardsville. Where else have uh, Kyle Chills Wrestling been uh, wrestling lately? Uh, I think that's about it for the yeah. last few months. I've only the been to Edwardsville and the American thing, Legion. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. So, so you're wrestling... Uh, the Godfather resigned, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah well, you know, aside, you know at, at, at some point, you have to turn the turn the reins over to someone, you know? He is kind of old. <laughs> He's not that old. <laughs> He's not that old. <laughs> oh, so, but there, there you go. I, again, we've had uh, a lot of different wrestling groups on here because we both grew up watching wrestling. And uh, I, like, man, when you uh, you brought Dan Severn in, that was like, oh, yeah. that was amazing. But you know, because you grow up watching that stuff, and, and it, it's I you know I took my kids uh, you know to see some of it. It's it's if you haven't been out to see wrestling some of some of the locals wrestle if you have kids especially uh you know 12 and under or whatever take them it is a blast yeah. um the kids get into the the who they like who they don't and they start hollering you know and talking smack and you know uh you're not the real deal mr steel <laughs> you know, whatever it is you got the you know and, and it's just a good time uh Anybody know how much it costs to get into these uh, uh, events that are coming up? Was it twenty dollars a ticket? Pretty sure it was twenty five for front row. Yeah. Twenty, yes, yeah, twenty, twenty a ticket, twenty five for front row. So there you go. And, and and when you go and you pay that, it's not like you're just seeing a match. You're seeing an evening or a, an afternoon, whatever it is, uh, multiple matches, and and uh, it is just a good time. Yeah, talking uh, smack is a lot of fun to watch your kids do. Yeah. And, uh, we Sometimes you can get caught up in it and you end up in a little <laughs> tangle. It, it happens, man, you know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, good, good times, that's for sure. Absolutely. Uh, so, let's uh, let's talk about uh, our Friday weekend night. real quick and so we can get back to these gentlemen and find out more All about right. Epic Wrestling. Mila Duffy <clears throat> uh, firing it up on Friday night at Morrison's Pub. From uh, six until ten o'clock, and Aaron Cam and the One Drops in town picked in. Yeah, Between seven to nine. The Alton Godfrey Rotary Park. That's across from uh, City Hall, right here in Alton. Yeah, right, just a couple blocks from us here. Mm -hmm. yep. The Mad Bailey's will be a couple blocks on the other side. The Lodge at Lovejoy, seven to ten on Friday night, and the hit is gentlemen. 8.30 to 11.30 down at the conservatory and all the pianos, of course. Speaking of the hideous gentleman. I heard. 
We got Don't Get Dead next week with that's Jared Humphrey. Jared Humphrey. So there yeah. you go. Hit me up today and asked me if uh, he should bring a CD, and I'm like, of course. He he uh, he gave me one today. I'm I'm looking nice. forward to checking it out. So right. I'm gonna stream it. I got him locked in on uh, YouTube. So there you go. Piano's at Raging Cajun, and uh, I had a great time down at Raging Cajun for uh, Rock the Hops, baby. Yeah. Got a, nice. I got to see Hidden Order for the first and last time. Oh, really? Their first show and their last they, show. They, they were done after that show, and, and they know, decided and to, no more. <laughs> well, it used to be Biff Gnarly and the Reptilians. Right. And they uh, changed the Hidden mm. Order, got a new drummer, and then decided <coughs> that they'd switch back to <coughs> just Biff Gnarly now. Okay. So well, there's there an update. Go. So... That's a once in a lifetime thing. I've seen the first and yeah, last show. And the last anymore. show. I, I was a, uh, I was down at the conservatory and, oh, yeah. and caught a couple acts down there. And man, it was a there was a crowd. It was packed. Yeah, yeah, good crowd for the whole weekend. Uh, yeah, I checked out Sister, who followed uh, the Hidden Order. Yeah, and uh, then I went down to see Doug Rafferty down at the lodge. I missed that one. I was wanting to see that one. It was really cool because Doug comes back to town from Chicago, right? Yeah. Had electric guitar in him. <laughs> and he did some of those old Judge Nothing songs and to see the response from the Altonians that you know had a yeah. cool house. Oh I bet it was I it, bet. It, it gave me and Dan Deck chill. Sure. And it was a nineties reunion because you had Fragile Force and the Mice there, you had the Bishops. Yeah. You had uh, Autumn Clock. Lee Jackson was down there. He was with <laughs> Ten Tribes and nice, uh, yeah. Tipping Cows, and of course me and Dan Deck. Yeah. So yeah, we had some uh, nostalgia Absolutely. fired up down that, there. That that uh, seeing Rafferty was one of them I wanted to catch that day, but there there was a lot going on. Good crowd all the way around. Good job to uh, uh, the people from Rock the Hops there, yeah. Drew and Hope Mater. And then uh, I finished my night up with Crocodile Kings back at Ray. <clears throat> The Ray Duquesne, ah, nice. and, uh, man, they were impressive. Yeah. I told Ray after the show, I said, you know what? I think you're edging out hooky a little bit. Ah. <laughs> and of course, we had the conversation. It's two different things, but I like that heavy yeah. 70s sound, the Crocodile And King. the King's got it, so mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got Sean Trost Duo, uh, 2 to 6 p.m., and then up all night, 7.30 to 11.30 at Fast Eddie's a bone air right. on Ford's Friday Cafe evening. Out at uh, Baker's and Hale on Friday night, Soul Shine Groove at the Moose and Wood River, and uh, Cash Goat up at uh, Georgia Soul Groove in Jerseyville from 6 to 9 on Friday. Jim on Keys doing the afternoon slot at Aries Winery from 3 to 7. And when you want to have a wrap up your night, you go to Rock Bottom. <laughs> I'm always at Rock, rock Bottom. bottom. Right? 8 30 to 12 30. Deutz down there in Pontoon Beach. Always a great place to see a show. Christian Thomas, 7 to 10 at Pavia's Place in Granite on Friday. Scott Michelle at Hooches and 16. 7 o'clock on Friday night. And Merge 5 at the Holiday Shores Marina Bar in Edwardsville from 6 to 10. And then the Artemis Pile Band in town. Oh, yeah. The drummer from Leonard Skinner survived the plane crash and uh, so, bringing his band back survived, to town. He survived the plane crash, right. pulled another survivor out of the plane crash, walked to the nearest house. Allegedly. Allegedly walked to the nearest <laughs> house to get shot by the guy right. because he's all bloody coming out of the woods. Now, the farmer who says, I didn't shoot him. That must have been a ricochet shot. Yeah. What were you shooting at? Aliens. Well, I mean, I mean, okay, so anyway, Artemis Pyle, there you go, uh, yeah, well, playing up at the Wildy Theater. Mid- midlife, uh, around the corner, Big Daddy from 6 to 9, Borderline, 7 to 10 at 1818 Chop House in Edwardsville on Friday, and the other mother's brothers at <laughs> Judy Creek and Glenn Carvin. R5 doing it down at Old Hill Brewery in Collinsville, so uh, some other shows uh, a little further out, but uh, you can check it all out at Cottonmouth.org, including Blaze Le- and Lester, our friends. Playing at 8 o'clock at Sea Joe's last stop saloon in Wow, there you go. That wraps up the Friday evening for yeah. our uh, community. And I got to know who you've seen at Rock the Hop, so you let me hang. <sighs> you weren't watching? No, I was. <laughs> I just can't remember because that was days ago, man. Uh, it, it I think you're just in a little bit of fear here. Uh, well, I... You got the silver back staring the, you down, brother. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not staring at him. I'm staring at this uh, this eagle over here. Oh yeah, the eagle. That either has a lazy eye or a lack of respect, because he's just looking over here like he wants a piece. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking at. Well, you might want a piece of pig fender, not that kind. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
want a piece pipe. That's all <laughs> I want. His ass keep veering over here. It's easy to turn into some chicken wings. Oh, so man. That's all I got to say about that. Ooh. Ooh. We brought up it's, fried chicken last I, time, didn't we? I, I don't know, but but I, I'm going to tell you, if, if any of you are like out there driving around town and you're like, I'm just kind of cruising home, you might want to just cruise by Market Street because there might be a brawl right. out front here in about another 15, 20 minutes. The masked man. The, the, the masked man. <laughs> right. uh, Mr. Eagle Eye, who, who uh, so so uh, anybody who's just tuning in or whatever, just to catch up, we're talking to uh, the gentleman from Epic Wrestling, three of, of the gentlemen from Epic Wrestling. Uh, we've got next to me Mr. Eagle Eye, little green, only been, only been wrestling two months, but has for sure... An attitude here about making it to the top. He's, and fighting. He's, and, 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 and yeah, so there you go. Uh, all the yeah. way across is the silverback you mentioned, Jabari King, who uh, is 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 about ready to take the eagle out of the sky if he keeps going. <laughs> he's, he's looking at him like, yeah. And in the middle, Mr. All That, uh, the champ. Uh, the Mr. Inter- all that matters. Mr. All, yeah. I, did, I, I quit in the middle of it, didn't I? I'm, I'm, yeah. He's right. I'm a little nervous, man. The silverback. He's, 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 no, he's cool. Oh, he's oh, I, cool. I, I agree. He's cool. I just, I think he wants to, to fight before he leaves. I think, he, <laughs> I, I think he's like, I'm gonna fight somebody before I leave, and, and it's either gonna be me or Eagle. So he ain't That's really find out, huh? Yeah. I, well, I, you know, and 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 I look. I, I have. No qualms that I'm not gonna win that fight, but if engaged, what else am I to do? What else is a man to do? You can you can surely understand that Jabari, that that, that mentality, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're I, talking about October seventh at the Franklin oh, Lodge. I'm glad we're not right talking about right now anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bittersweet lockdown too, and you talked about six men locked, two of them starting unlocked, right? The mm-hmm. other four locked to the ring post. Yep. Right, and uh, you mentioned bringing bolt cutters last time you heard about this match. Yeah, there's all kinds of ways to help. Uh, do you know the rest of the guys that are going to be uh, competing against you? Oh, man, I asked a tough one, didn't I? No, no you didn't. I, did I ask a bad one? No, you didn't ask a bad one. Okay. So far, the only one that really bothers me is Blake Steele. Oh, okay. Because right. he's, just, he's just been a minor annoyance to okay. me. You know, they constantly give, they give him title match after title match after title match. You've beaten him just, just once, right? Yeah. yeah, just once. But, you know, every time I look up, he's got a title match. Okay. You know, um, powerhouse championship, heavyweight championship, interstate championship. And he, he just does nothing with it. So it's just the minor annoyance is always in the picture. You know, but he he, know, he knows what happens when he deals with me. Now, you're going to be in that match, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you going to be locked up? or I don't know yet. You don't know. So is what do they do? Draws, draws to figure out who's locked and who's unlocked? Just right. Random. I mean, you're the champ. Don't you get to decide? So, when I got there, I was told that I had to start the match. Right. So, uh, I don't know what the other guys did to get locked up first. And I guess, you know, I got to like I get it. I got a target on my back. They wanted me to start because they wanted to get me out mm. as quick as possible. And guess what? They failed. <laughs> <laughs> but then, let's, let's talk about, you know, his lockdown match. He mentioned Blake Steele. He tried to challenge me for my belt. You see, you see what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. Who else is in that match? Oh, Benjamin Trust, the guy I beat, the former champion. I beat him too. We and didn't trust him at all, did we? We yeah. thought he was with the government. Who and who else? You have Percy Drews, Dallas Taylor, and Dallas, Dallas Taylor. Taylor. Yes. Mm. One of the one of the one of the men who eliminated me from the Battle Royale the Fair. Right? Oh man, oh, yeah. yes. Dallas Taylor. And now that he probably cheated, more than likely. And then, from what I've seen, there is a mystery opponent. Oh. So there's one more person in this lockdown match. It's not Pigpen. <laughs> I'm saying it's the Eagle. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> it's the only choice to make. <laughs> uh, it doesn't man. matter who the mystery person is. It doesn't matter who it's going to be. Because all that matters, pun intended, is that Jabari King is going to walk out with his opportunity to choose between the powerhouse championship and the heavyweight championship. So we got to know what happens if it comes down between you two. Yeah. You're not in the match, right? No, he's not in the oh, match. Okay. Okay. I thought oh, but, sure. but he's saying he can be because, yeah. you know, the mystery. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah. Well, 
That is an interesting question. So if you two are in the ring together and it comes down to just the two of you staying and say a six man type thing, what, what happens then? Well, it's like I said before, I only associate with the best. I would not serve this man and be associated with him if he was not one of the best. So all I got to say is if it is down to us two, may the best man win. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're, yeah. All right. I like it. Respect given to each side and, and we're just going to see what happens. Yes. Yeah. I love it. All right. There you go. And and, and uh, how about you, Mr. Eagle? You, you got any, any close-knit people on your side? You got anybody, uh, like, these two kind of seem to be a team here? No. No, I'm a man alone in this business right now. <laughs> Loser. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, but I'm handling myself pretty well. I mean, I don't need a bodyguard to take care of my business. <laughs> wow. And I will say, flying solo, I respect. I do respect that. All right, well, there you go. Go ahead and respect it. But if you're if you're in the uh, lockdown match, I'd watch yourself. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a little, little respect given there from the Silverback for flying solo, and the Eagle just he's just gonna take it and fly. With I'm here it. to be the best in the Midwest. That means I got to take down everybody, man. So the respect is there. I do respect you. You're a great athlete. You're strong. You're athletic. Everything, but. At the end of the day, I have to be better than you to be what I want to be. Yeah, okay. There you go. Well, yeah, you know, I, I think in, in, in a lot of things, if you're if you're chasing any dream, if you don't believe you're going to get it, you done defeated yourself anyway. So, you know, I think everybody has to have that mentality. Uh, so, there you go. I think we're going to make it through this without anybody getting hurt. We're close, man. I've been watching that clock. Oh, there's still time. <laughs> Plenty of time. All it takes is one bad All it word. takes is me saying one stupid <laughs> thing, man. Do, do, do. So we're talking uh, about October 7th, <laughs> Bittersweet Lockdown 2 at the Franklin Lodge right here in Alton. And I love it when they get in the Masonic Lodge and uh, the Giants get together. Well, and, and you know, you brought that up earlier. He took this belt at the Masonic Lodge. He, he took over a place of power in the middle of the Masonic. I'm just saying some weird, weird forces at work here, bro. You, you, we're watching you now. Just saying. They've always been watching you. Don't worry. <laughs> They've always, it's nothing new. <laughs> Bless me. Uh, so that uh, the, 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 uh, let's talk about the August 26th one, though, because that's like coming right up, right? Yeah. But, so uh, it's it's not it's in not all it's not it's not yeah. all it's okay yeah but but it well, where is it then where he, he's taking vacation on that one so no well, no you might I'm not there. defending my belt right but oh. I will be there to accompany okay. Jabari King so I think you should let him know what you're doing you can talk, talk to him talk to him my opponent will be the Black Panther Zulu. Oh. Who I have a I have the utmost respect. Jill Scott Heron oh no I'm sorry <laughs> I have the utmost respect for. Her. And quite frankly, he's he's a very hungry wrestler, so he decides to challenge the silverback. Now, we all know what kind of mistake that is, but it's fine. We can fight. I've seen what he can do. I've seen he's he's, he's gone for the interstate championship before. Oh, you, you did. You did. <laughs> so, he, he, you know, he wants another shot. He wants to be able to prove himself. So he challenges the silverback. I see. So all just right. like just like as if I were facing him, made the best man win. Okay. So so uh, you, you you got passed with this guy. You you guys go back a little no, bit. No, we don't. Oh Not no. Oh really? Okay. We just know, re- we just know re- each other, but we don't. We've never met. Anybody. Gotcha. So it's just respect for uh, another athlete, basically. Yes, okay. Yes, I respect go. I respect all people that will step into the step into the field of battle. Yeah. You know. I respect both of our kings here tonight because they really wrestled amateurly in high school. I guess both you guys wrestled high school yes, wrestling that that's type. Correct. Yes, sir. Yeah, you guys go very far in state anything like that i went to state did you mm-hmm. that's funny uh i did not you know, not, <laughs> not an easy task no i took on the number one guy in missouri overall okay so that wasn't <laughs> yes, long. Was, yeah i went to state and went to missouri yeah. Yeah. both of you guys missouri probably guys, three. Mm-hmm. What was that? We, we've got a legendary uh, guy here larry christoff that was an olympic wrestling coach uh right out of siu uh, edwardsville over here and trained a lot of uh, amateur wrestlers. And why I bring that up is when Dan Severn, when I interviewed Dan Severn, the beast, right? Yes, sir. He said he's done it all. He's done, you know, UFC, UFC, everything. And he said the hardest, most difficult, (laughs) is what you guys are doing, professional wrestling, this style. He said it was the hardest on his body. It was the hardest mentally. And uh, that's harder that's than yeah. He said harder than Olympic wrestling, harder than UFC. It's a it's a it's a true uh, true sport, man. And yeah. and and it takes an athletic ability. 
it, it, the way he described it, it very much reminded me of like wrestling with my son when he's like three or four. You're doing your best to make this fun and make it seem, make, make this, you know, the, the real deal, man. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. And, and what did he talk about? The one guy, you know, kicking, you know, kicking the string every day or whatever, you right. know, just to, 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 to practice kicking the string. I couldn't, you know. Anyway, I, it's, when Dan the Beast said that, it was the coolest thing he said other than, you know. How about you, high, DM? You, know. you do any uh, wrestling in high school or anything nope. like that? No. Just naturally get You ride off the street. I'm just wondering, wondering where you got your fighting experience, that's all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 suddenly you're in the silverback trough hairs. Well, you know, I just yeah. gave him props for being, you know. See, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's one thing. That's one thing. Well, I got this. I'm just naturally gifted. Right. So, 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 so okay. Guys, so, so let me, let me, let me uh, t touch base on this. At growing up, I, I'm not sure where you there came you from. You from Missouri? You from Illinois? Illinois. Illinois, nice. Yes. Uh, okay. So, 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 growing up in whichever part of Illinois you grew up, like, so, I'm a little older. I grew up in the '70s, man. You had to fight on your way home from school. It was just kind of part of it. Somebody's going to grab you, and you know, it's pretty violent time or whatever. You, did you fight a lot as a kid? Did, did you wrestle or fight a lot? Or I mean, I had my fair share of fights, but it wasn't like every single day and stuff like that. Right. Like, for me. Wrestling became easy. It became second nature. I've watched wrestling since I was like two years old. And so when I decided to do this, I already had the tools. I, I've watched it my whole life. I knew what to do. That is, where I'm, that is what I mean by when I say I am naturally gifted. That I just saw it. I took it all in. Right. And I just did it. That is what you need to be a champion. And I have it. All right, another question for you. Other sports. Were you, were, you, were you into sports growing yeah. up? You played football, basketball, basketball. baseball, any of that? Yeah. Okay. Basketball well, so, yeah. so you were already an athlete. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I think that's kind of where we were trying to get to is did, did you just one day wake up and go, I'm going to wrestle? And before that, you were like a tap dancer? I mean, you know what I mean? I, well, I, I mean, like, like, I, you started jumping off the couch on top of Dad, right? It, it, just like. I was going to say. Yeah, like it, I've never played from like an actual team. You know, like this stuff is just hobbies. Basketball gotcha. is a hobby. Gotcha. But wrestling, I saw it. This is what I want to be my job. Yeah. So that's why I put all my time and effort into it. Who, who was one of your favorites when you were young? Man, the Hardy Boys. Okay. <laughs> Hardy Boys. You a big Ric Flair fan? I had words with Ric Flair. <laughs> so did I got you? that going. Did you? I mean, who doesn't have words with that guy? He was uh, just an amazing entertainer. Uh, yeah. you know? I'm hacksaw Jim, du Jim Dugan all the way. <laughs> For me, it's, it's Roddy. Yeah, Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Piper, I'll have absolutely, man. Uh, so you, you know, got an action figure uh, coming from this area. So like you know, kid, pe kids today don't know because it's all streaming devices and stuff. But back in my day, we had television, <laughs> and growing up in St. Louis, we had wrestling at the Chase, and and man, it it made this area pop at that time with wrestling. Uh, St. Louis is known nationally. For, oh yeah, uh, they're professional wrestlers, and uh, we've got two of the biggest, the Ortons. Right. Out here. right. <laughs> and, uh, we're lucky enough to have Cowboy on. Cowboy fact, Bob so, Orton. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he was a bouncer right down here in Alton. One of the uh, timeouts. Right? That's right. The timeout. I forgot about that. So yeah. He's been out once. <laughs> yeah. Twice. <laughs> My favorite story he told, though, was the night he was in a bar. He was looking at this guy playing bass on stage who was pretty big. And the guy comes off stage, and, and he was the bad guy champion at the time in Florida. Oh, and the wow. guy comes flying off stage at him, and he's thinking, oh, no, I'm going to have to throw down. And it was Mr. Hulk Hogan saying, how can I get into wrestling, dude? <laughs> <laughs> and and just a few years, fast forward a few yeah. years, and all oh, you little Hulkamaniacs are going wild. Remember to eat your vitamins. No. <laughs> dude, I, I wake up every morning, and I watch his music video where he's got flags waving in the background. No, I don't do that. I don't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just wake up every morning and call real American. Such a, such, a, such a national anthem. I, I, I pump 
bed in my ride every day, man. No, I, I do. Yeah, no, I, I, I was, you know, as much as I grew up in the Hulk era, he was never one of my favorite, man. Like, you know, check out these 54 pints. Oh, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to eat vitamins. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, I, uh, somebody like a, doesn't want <laughs> I hey I I I, uh, I make up for it with lots of herbs and spices. I don't know if any of that's true. All right, <laughs> all right. So uh, hey, real quick, we got time to hit a few of these Saturdays. We we can we'll, uh, just hit hit the important ones, man. All right, Mike Mattingly, uh, six nine, <laughs> truck food, truck lot. Everybody who food. doesn't get mentioned is going to be like, screw <laughs> you, man. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Kevin uh, Wayne Groom, five eight, the Brown Bag Bistro, <laughs> uh, Lefty Daytona down at the lodge, seven thirty to ten thirty. Uh, summer compilation recording sessions featuring uh, to be announced down at the uh, conservatory on Saturday night. Pianos at 9 o'clock, the Raging Cajun and Sean Trost, 2 to 6, up all night. Fast day at 7.30. On Saturday, Hookie yeah. Monster, 7 to 11 at Bakers and Hale and Godfrey on Saturday. And then nice. uh, Gypsy Soul down at the Pump House in Woodland on Saturday at 9 o'clock. How about DMFB? Not sure what that stands for. Uh, I, can, be playing. I can take a few guesses. Yeah. <laughs> None of them are good. Uh, <laughs> the Junkyard is the uh, location for their uh, gig, 8.30 to 12.30. Matt Heaton down at uh, Martin's Tunes, 2 to 6. That place is for sale. If you're interested. Martin's Tunes? Yeah. Really? They? Oh, I thought they were doing pretty good down there. And yeah, we decided to get mm, out of it. It's a lot mm, of work running it, a venue. It, it That's is. why we appreciate each and every one of them that host these uh, live events. Dirt Absolutely. Road Crush up at the Hog Pit, 2 to 6. Jason McAtee at the Grafton Winery, 3 to 7. The Yacht Rockers at the Loading Dock, 5 to 8. Terrence Wafer, 12 to 3. And Jonathan Baker, 3 to 7 at Aries Resort in Grafton. The Rock Bottom, night 2, down at Doyd's Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. Also, Rock Er Box, 9 p.m. The Patrick's in Granite City and Worth Fight. 9.15 at Tegan in Granite City. What's that place that was on sale? Uh, Martin's Tunes and Eats down in Wood River. Yeah. yeah. Money yeah. man looking into it. Yeah. Yeah. Out the it used to be, uh, it was Chico's for like 20 years or something. And uh, yeah, and neat little uh, neat little place down there. So if anybody's looking to find a venue for uh, music or wrestling or what have you, uh, there you go. And it's got a kitchen already in it. So exactly. there you go. Uh, check it out. All right. Is that, that kind of covering our, our Saturday? Anybody we didn't cover? I we guess got, we got the Edmondsville locations. Uh, Lefty Daytona at the Goshen Market at 9 a.m. Laying in Julie, oh. 2 to 5 at the Foundry Public House. And uh, out the cabin at Judy Creek, two things do. 7 to 10, Strange Buffalo, the <laughs> Gold Herald in Collinsville from 6.30 to 9.30. And uh, the Blue Marma Band out in Troy at the Barbecue Festival at Tri- Township Park, Squeeze Box out at the uh, Prairie Inn in Dorsey, 4 to 8, playing for the golf courts and uh, foreplay way up there in Wild Pickens for the uh, Chesterfield location uh, mm. for some foreplay on Saturday. All right. DEFCON birthday batch. bash, <laughs> 8 p.m. Right, DEFCON <laughs> birthday bash. Yeah, I love that, DEFCON. All right. So there you go. All right, pretty good, pretty good Saturday night there. We don't have time to we don't have time to talk about Sunday because uh, we're we're way more interested in talking a little more wrestling here yes. for the last few minutes. Um, Specifically, October seventh, Bittersweet Lockdown Two, the uh, Franklin Lodge right here in Alton, and specifically because it's right here in Alton. Yeah, but also right. uh, also Long August twenty uh, August twenty sixth. Where was that one at? That's in Centralia. Centralia. In Centralia, and then November fourth. Right. right, that's the one we didn't get to because we were about to talk about that uh, right before we went on air. There's one on the third too, beat down in Brownstown, the high school <laughs> in Brownstown, Illinois. Nah, that which now was there another one on the fourth? Uh, right before we went on air, you guys. It's November fourth. We're going to St. Louis, Missouri, Concordia Turner's Hall. Oh, oh another Turner. Turner Mini goes to St. Louis. Yes, nice. Sir. Yeah. You know, uh, Mephisto said he was going to take over everything, including the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> Sounds about right. He's holding I, up his end. I remember something about the Smashing Pumpkins, but I don't know. Everything's a blur. Uh, I, I know this. Those Turner's Hall. I've, I've been to the the Turner Hall. I think it was in Collinsville uh, to see some some wrestling. And and don't forget the Eagle Eye. 
Uh, that's right, the Eagle High. He, Over at the Legion, Saturday, well, in Edwardsville, with the County of Chills Wrestling Alliance. And your match again? Mystery opponent. Mystery opponent. Mystery opponent. It might be me. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Dude, they call me the Sparrow, bro. Because I'm a little bitty guy. <laughs> Nobody. Hey, Eagle, I don't like you, but if your opponent's him, just please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh man! Yeah, King of the Sky attention. Eagle Eye over there in the Edwardsville Legion with the Cotton Chills Wrestling Alliance. Glad to see those guys still kicking after all they went through. Yeah. So. All right, and and, and of course uh, we want to thank you guys for coming down from wherever it is you've come from. You're so very welcome. I truly appreciate. It. We like we grew up watching wrestling, so to us this is. This is cool, man. I, I, uh, I mean, how many times did you hurt yourself jumping off the back of the couch, right. trying, you know, trying to do an elbow drop onto a pillow or whatever, you know, or the poor dog. You just lay there, dog. Oh, let me put the figure four on you, dude. It won't so hurt. I promise. I, I, I honestly, that that just brought back a memory <laughs> yeah. where, we literally, like we're like ten years old, we're wrestling. Me and my buddy were in his basement watching it on TV, so we start wrestling. And I don't know if it was the he put me in some sort yeah. of leg hold. And I was at like crying, like no, please yeah, stop! Really hurts. Oh, it hurts so <laughs> bad. It's just stretching me every which way I'm not supposed to. Ah, uh, yeah, you guys, all, all, all you guys that do that, man. It's, it's. You guys got any signature props. moves that you're known for? Oh, the super kick. Okay. Basic, definitely a super kick. No, I mean, when, when you're good at something, you don't have to do anything extravagant. Huh. Now, right. what does a super kick involve? Do you leave the leave the ground? <laughs> The just, super kick is as simple as this. My foot in your face. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 it could be a roundhouse. It could be yeah, it could be a spinning jump back. Anything, huh? Just a super kick. Yeah. His foot to your face. And and, and and again, I'm I'm weird, but you, you, as soon as you said it's just my foot in your face, I had like the memory of like cartoons where the guy with a huge foot's kicking somebody like with a massive foot. And then, hey, that's probably what they see when my foot come that, out. That's, that's kind of what I thought. How about you, Mister Eagle Eye? Any... You gotta be coming off the top rope. <laughs> yeah, I got a finisher called the Eagle's Landing, so I get up there on the top Amazing. rope. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Signal it with the old eagle claw, and I come off kind of like a snook of splash. I go way up high in the sky. Nice. Off the top rope. That's what I was always pretending to do when I get hurt. the ceiling there in the Franklin. That's not good. The Turner Hall at Collinsville would not work. And this poses the question, have you ever jumped off the top rope and just kind of hit the ceiling a little bit? I've been close at the last few shows. Yeah, I know how to. I know I, how to aim. Look, I I gotta say, if I was in a match and saw that, it would be yeah. the greatest ever. Like that dude just jumped into the ceiling. And uh, anybody who wants to try that, and and think it doesn't hurt, yeah, go ahead, try it. <laughs> it, it again, respect given all the way around to anybody who does this. this yeah, right. because <laughs> it truly is. Uh, one of the toughest sports that that you will, one of the toughest physical activities you can engage in. Uh, so there you go, big props to you guys. Thanks for not attacking me, Mister Silverback. I, I'm sorry if I if I enticed you <laughs> to, to swing on me. Uh, whew, I think I'm gonna get out of this one now. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, Eagle Eye still stink eyeing me over here too. Well, he's but got it's mystery fine. guests. Yeah, coming wrestlers up. don't seem to like you. It's, it's okay. No, it's okay. My own wife doesn't like me. It's fine, man. It's fine. Uh, hey, uh, it's pig pen. Yeah. That ought to yeah. say it all, right? No yeah. one likes a pig pen. Yeah, you know. The, 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 we all have our place in this world, man. You know, we, we need people like me out there, too, I think. Someone is shoveling the new. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Seriously, best of luck to all of you. Uh, in, in all of your upcoming matches against Mystery Men, against six guys at once, against old, no, not old friends, but, you know, uh, new friends, old friends, all that. Uh, good luck to you all, uh, you know, last especially. Time, last time uh, Mr. Mephisto was in here, they were sponsored by AP Cigar. You know if any of these are sponsored events by anybody? We should give a shout-out to for uh, supporting uh, wrestling. 
at the moment I am, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 All right, we're just going to say sponsored just by Joe Labs. That's, that's, <laughs> that's all their information. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we, we need the owner for that. But. Yeah. that that's just, cool, though, that some local business it, sponsored it. Absolutely. That's, because absolutely. we know that's how we survive, man, with Alpha Music Company and Mr. Matt Van Boris. They wouldn't um, let us in the front door if we didn't have sponsors. They'd be like, you guys not good at this. And, and, uh, <laughs> you know, and now they're supporting this. Pro Absolutely. There we go. Pro Epic. Epic P Pro Epic. Epic Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Pro yeah. Pro Wrestling Epic. That's right. See, it's, not just, it's not just Pro Wrestling. Right. Right. It's Pro Wrestling Epic. Right. Ooh, I'm slightly <laughs> lysdexic. Epic. And I get it. Yeah. yeah. I got it straight now. Check them out on Facebook. You got a website yet? Oh, if you want to see me on Facebook, it's ATM is money. <laughs> we do want to see him on Facebook. And I do go to the ATM for money. He, he is correct. <laughs> see, and now, whenever you go to an ATM, you think of me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Although I used to think about the trailer park boys when they backed over that ATM. <laughs> back, <laughs> backed in and just drug it out. Uh, good, good times, good times. Mr. Eagle Eye, best of the, uh, luck to you uh, in, in, in all your endeavors. Uh, you, we, we may, in the future about you somewhere I'm, I'm assuming rookie yeah. hoping so <laughs> okay. yeah you know you just you, you hang in there yeah sooner or yeah. later they're gonna you, you know I've sat on the bench sooner or later they call for you it's fine it's fine man yeah You're two he's only two months in remember this people. Earning your <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he forgot to hit his cough button yeah it was, all, it was, it was, all, it was, was almost on it, I was gonna say, it was almost <laughs> as if he meant to do that uh, all right hey big big thanks again eagle eye a lot of fun. jabari king yes sir this is the silverback jabari king yes, and facebook jabari king instagram jabari pw uh twitter or x now uh, go, go, go ahead and say all that again. Say, say all that again. Yeah, uh, Facebook, Jabari King. Instagram, Jabari PW. Uh, Twitter or X, King Jabari 91. There you go. Well, somehow, I, as he was saying that, I heard him say, Principal Jabari King. I'm like, what are you the principal of, dude? <laughs> like, I don't want to go to that school because I'm always in trouble. I don't want to get sent to your office. will come out one of the best. Right, well, you know. I, and, if and, I was and, yeah, well, I, I, I would, I would agree that I would probably not want to slack off too bad. Well, judging, judging from how you're acting now, you probably went to Eagle Eye University. It's fine. <laughs> you know again, what? Look, I got respect for Eagle Eye here, but I feel yes, that so was, I feel that was an insult that you just hurled my way. Did yes. you mean to insult me, good sir? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> this is. I don't know what you're gonna do. Well, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here calmly and think of an insult to hurl back that may not get me punched. <laughs> what you gonna do in silverback comes for you, pig pen? What you gonna do? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, look at the room. You have a pig, an eagle, and a silverback. Yeah. Mean, a lot, a lot of animals, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of animals going on around here. Hey, uh, seriously, thanks, guys. Uh, best of luck to you, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, appreciate, you. appreciate you. All joking aside. Mr. King, thank you for your service as a veteran. Oh, appreciate man. it. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, thanks for the freedom, man. Uh, we are free to roam about the cab, and we are past the top of the hour, so we're going to bring it to an end. Big thanks to Matt Van Voorst. I talked to him yesterday, and he said he always loves it when we try to say who he's sponsored. So we're going to say... Uh, Pro Wrestling Epic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Matt Van Voorst. Hey, he got us here, didn't he? <laughs> That's right. Matt Van Voorst, who's uh, throwing out a shout-out to Pro Wrestling Epic. And I think next weekend, Stubblefield's playing out at Baker's and Hale. Nice. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And that's He's that's farm to food place. table, baby. That that's 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 good, good. farm to table food. I, I said it again. I'm less Uh All right. So the big thanks to Eagle Eye, uh, the Silverback Jabari King, and the Champ, the October Interstate Champ. October seventh. Write it down Mr. in blood on your calendar. October seventh. Bittersweet so lock down to Franklin Lodge, Alton, Illinois, right there uh, in Little Caesars area. Oh, there you go. You don't know where that's at. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. And remember, whatever you're going to do, do it safely and get out and support local music and art.